Hello chess lovers, in the last video we learn about the conditions of draw. First was two kings left on the board and the second was stalemate. In this one we will learn about more conditions of draw. So the third one is offer draw. What do we mean by this one? A player may offer a draw to his opponent at any stage of a game if the opponent accepts the accepts the game is a draw. So it's like at any position on the board you can offer a draw to your opponent and if he accepts then it's a draw. So it's by mutual consent only like the player accepts it. Obviously you can decline it if you think that you are winning for example in this position black offered a draw to white and white is thinking that he may win this game. So white can decline it. So when the both the players are ready then it will be a draw. Next we have three fold repetition. What do we mean by this rule? In chess the three fold repetition rule also known as repetition of position states that a player can claim a draw if the same position occurs three times or will occur after their next move with the same player to move. So there is one example of the three fold repetition you can see that in this position white play king d4 to go on king c5 square to take this pawn and black just played king d6 stopping the king white king came again on e4 to came uh, to just go on f5 and the opponent is also stopping him and they are both repeating their moves as you can see again and again so this is one example of threefold repetition draw i think you just got that uh, now one more example i'm giving you in this position here black played knight g6 bishop moves to c3 and they are moving the knight again back to their uh, position where from where he just came and the bishop is also repeating so actually it's also int intentional that both the players are repeating their moves again and again and you see that here this is draw that they repeated three times. So this was threefold repetition. Next we have 50 move rule. 50 move rule says that if both sides have made 50 consecutive moves without making a capture or pawn move then a player may claim a draw. So this rule mostly happens during ending as the end game here are less possibilities to cut the pieces or <clears throat> there are less pawns if we say in this position. So here in this position white needs to do queen mate. Most of you know how to do it because I told you in the previous video for, with the knight shadow technique but many young players found it very difficult to do it and they keep spending a lot of time and keep moving the queen like they keep giving the checks to the king like that. So in that case they reaches 50 moves sometimes. Like starting from the position here we are counting the 50 moves. Where When the last pawn captured or where the last piece captured or last pawn moved. From where there we are counting the 50 move thing. So in that technique uh, many players are unable to do that and the game will just end a draw on 51st move if the opponent claims it. So this is one thing for 50 move rule. Next we have insufficient material. When only one bishop knight left on the board the game ended as a draw. Like how? See one bishop cannot able to do the checkmate. You can see that I just blocked the king in the uh, like here in the corner but still I am unable to do the checkmate to the king because only I am just covering the light squares white squares with the white bishop not the black squares if i have the black square bishop then i'm covering black square but not the light squares so this is the thing that one bishop can't do the checkmate similarly one knight also can't do the checkmate you see that i just made a position over here like here i was just trying to do the checkmate to the black king but i can't able to do it and if i move like this then it's a stalemate black king is in stalemate not a checkmate so I hope that you learn the, all the conditions of draw by seeing this video. Here is one puzzle for you. Uh, it's white to move and draw. Stalemate you have to make it from white side. Do mention the answer in the comment section. If you like this video then do give thumbs up and subscribe my channel Fun with Chess.